Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today it's my pleasure to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 2670BH. It's a great bunk house model, only weighs 5,100 pounds. Let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So one of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is your propane tank cover. Very easy to access. You have these thumb screws. You can just undo those, tilt them back. That will lift up this door and give you access to your two 20-pound propane tanks. Then behind the tanks and cover are the rails for your battery box. Then coming up the front here is diamond plating. This diamond plating will help protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't scratch up your beautiful fiberglass front end. Also, if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you can see there's a light right over there, which will give you that added visibility. If you come around to the side here with me, we'll take a look at the pass-through. One of the things you'll notice, is it does have a covered hinge on here, so you're not going to get a bunch of rust that comes down the door. And when we open this up, you can see nice wide entryway, so if you have larger items like zero gravity chairs, grills, you can fit them in here. Aluminum frame in there as well. That way it's uh, nice and durable, lightweight, and you don't have to worry about it ever rotting out on you. There's a light in here as well, so if you do need to, again, access this at night, you can get in there and see what what you're doing. Large power awning on this coach. You can see it spans almost the entire length of the coach, which is great. Just one touch of a button that rolls right out. Same thing to put it back in. You don't have to fight with it. One person operation. Uh, if you've never used a power awning, once you do, you won't go back. They're phenomenal. Then right underneath the power awning is an LED light strip. So that way, if you want light at night, you don't have to worry about getting up there and stringing up your lights on the tip of the awning. You can just go ahead and flip that on and off. Makes it very easy. Getting into the Passport is extremely easy as well. You'll see right here you have three steps to get in as well as this easy grab handle. The first one is nice and low to the ground so as you do step up, if you have bad knees, it's not going to hurt yourself getting into the coach. One other thing I like to talk about on the Passport uh, is the fact that this is an extended season camper. You can not see it but underneath is a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So what that means is if it starts to dip below freezing temperatures, as long as you have the furnace running inside, there's forced air going into that underbelly, making sure that your lines and tanks aren't freezing up on you. Another thing I like to talk about on the Passport is the towability. The excellent towability on these units. You have the nice curve on the front end, making it very, very aerodynamic. Lightweight at 5,100 pounds, sits fairly low to the ground. And you can see right here it has the load equalization axles, which is a wide axle system. That really helps reduce the sway as you start to pick up speed. There are also easy lube axles, which will help you in maintenance in the future, making it a lot easier for you. Right here is outside plug-in, so if you do need to plug anything in, like an electric griddle or blender, maybe you want to set up a table here, you can do that as well. You have the two outlets right there, and of course that is underneath your power awning. Then as you come to the very back, this right here is great. This is the outside kitchen. So I love having these on the bunk models, you know, very functional. You can see right up here you have uh, additional storage space, so if you want to put some paper plates or cups up there, you can do that. Mini fridge right here for your condiments uh, and any kind of outside beverages. Then we'll pull this out. You can see this just locks into place nice and easy right there. Right here is your wash basin, your faucet two burner cooktop. So if you do want to do some cooking outside, you can certainly do that as well. The other thing I love about these outside kitchens, take a look at this right here. Both sides of this outside kitchen have uh, this extension that pulls out, which takes it from a smaller outside kitchen to huge prep space. Very usable. That way as you're cooking, you know, you can put your raw meats or whatever right here, go ahead and cook it and then move it over. Whatever you want to do, but I love having that additional space. Then also underneath, you have a pro propane quick connect. So you can either connect the two burner cooktop to it or if you have an outside grill, you want to hook up your grill there, you can go ahead and do that too. As we make our way around the back here, a couple quick things. One is this right here, which is your black tank flush valve. If you're not familiar with that, what that does for you is instead of having to drag a hose through your entire uh, travel trailer and shoving it down the toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, what this guy likes to do is take that same hose, screw it right into here. It has sprayers built into that black tank and it'll go ahead and rinse it out for you. Also, there's a spare tire uh, with the cover on there. You know, hopefully you never have to use a spare tire, but in the event that you do it's great that it's sitting right back here excellent peace of mind and you have the cover on there to help protect it from the elements 
If you take a look up at the roof line one moment, you'll see how it has a nice crown roof. That way water doesn't sit up top. It naturally runs to the sides where you have your rain gutters taking it to the front and back so it's not dripping down, uh, getting your campsite all dirty. And then last but not least, right on this side right over here is an outside shower. Uh, so if you do want an outside shower that has both hot and cold access right there. All right, folks, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the outside. I know it's gorgeous. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 2670BH. This particular model is in the granite interior. Let's start off on the kitchen right over here. One of the things you'll notice is great countertop space, excellent prep surface as well, and this gets aided by having your sink top covers right here. So if you want, you can use them as prep space, or of course, you can take one off, be able to use your sink here. Do there anything about the uh, sink top covers these are cutting board quality so if you want to take them off you know flip them over use them as cutting boards you can certainly do that if you want to wash the dishes you'll notice the sink here large bowl on the left smaller one on the right and the high-rise faucet makes it very easy to do so Another cool thing about having huge countertop means you get a ton of space underneath. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the storage. I'll open this one up right here for you. And you know, a lot of this is the same storage areas, area, but different access points, uh, which allows you to utilize all the different spaces of it. So you have that one as soon as you walk into the door, we'll open this one up. Again, huge storage right there. Two very large full extension drawers. You can see how long those are, which is great, especially for a lot of your bigger use utensils like your spatulas, serving spoons, things to that nature. Then right underneath the sink right here, once again, huge storage area there. Also in our countertop, of course, our three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one is high output. Great flame control in the Atwoods as well, very easy to use. And then right underneath here is the oven in case you wanna do some baking. Underneath the oven, we'll pop this guy open. You'll see great storage under there, perfect for pots and pans. Uh, you know, just nice, large, open area. Then as we move up, fully functional hood right here, our microwave, you can see the weight of the unit, 5,100 pounds. Then over to the side, uh, right here, you have the raised panel cabinetry, the brush nickel pulls, really nice high-end look. And then right in there, of course, is extra pantry space. You have a big window right here, which lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Then underneath, you have an LED light. You actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach, which are a big advantage. Uh, one, they don't put, put out near the heat that the incandescent bulbs do. And two, they use a fraction of the power. So if you are out somewhere where you don't have shore power, you will really appreciate having the LED lights. So we step back a little bit further, rounding out the kitchen here is our Dometic fridge freezer combo. You can see in there, plenty of space, six cubic foot. You have a cutout there. Uh, this unit does run off of both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. What that means for you is if you are running it off propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Matching wood panels on there as well, I might add. You know, the, again, a lot of manufacturers just put in black. I like that they went ahead and match the cabinetry. So you move over, this is really neat too. This is something you see in all the pa a lot of the passports rather. Very versatile space. You'll see they have hanging rods in both the top. This, you have removable shelves. So if you want to use it as pantry space, you can certainly do that. If you want to fold clothes and put them in here, you can do that. You know, take out these top two, use it as hanging space and extra uh, shelf space, you can do that. This one over here, of course, is dedicated wardrobe. Cubby hole underneath, but just great versatile space, uh, whether you want to use it for the kitchen or the uh, kids or a combination of both. Speaking of the kids, right here are the bunks. You have what they call a double over double. It's what we call it in our industry or a double wide bunk on both the top and bottom. 300 pound weight limits on there too. So they are very sturdy. So if you want to, you know, put two children in each bed, you can certainly do that. If they have a friend or cousin or sibling, uh, you know, of course you can go ahead and put two kids per bed. Lights in both the top and bottom as well. So if you want to read at night, they can do that. Window top and bottom as well. Uh, so if you want to let in some airflow, you can. But my favorite part is they both have an electrical outlet. So, you know, the, more and more these days, you see kids on electronics, whether it's a cell phone or a tablet. And I know that a lot of us get uh, go away camping to get away from all that. But on a rainy day, especially if you have four kids, you will truly appreciate being able to give them a little bit of their own space here with that plug-in so they can play on those electronics. Uh, so I do enjoy the fact that they have those. Then right underneath here, great additional storage you can see right in there. So again, if you wanna put kids clothes down there, or you know, maybe a laundry hamper for dirty clothes, you can go ahead and do that too. Let's open up the bathroom and take a look. Uh, right
right there, of course, is our foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room all the way around. And then right in front of that is the tub shower. That way you can give kids a bath if you need to. Hand wand, great shelving space. And then a vent right up top. Over to the side here is the uh, mirror medicine cabinet with great storage behind that. And then underneath is the vanity sink top, of course, and again, storage underneath the sink as well. As we step back out into our main living area, on the off door side here is the super slide. This has both the U dinette and the couch. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the granite interior that's in here. And I like what they've done for 2017. They have the cloth on the back to give you that you know, nice look, the nice appearance, and then down below, they went ahead and gave you the leather. That way on the seat, you know, if you have the kids, they spill anything, or if they come in from the beach and they have wet swim trunks and they sit down, it's not gonna ruin your cloth. You have the leather here, nice and easy to clean up. Uh, also, being a U-Dinette, it does allow for more space for the kids, so if you want to sit the whole family around, have a meal together, play a game together, you have great space here, nice large table there as well. The other great thing about the U-Dinette, in my uh, personal opinion, probably the biggest advantage, is it makes a wonderful bed. So if you have adult guests that need to come and stay, you can take the legs out here, drop this table down, and this bed is plenty large for two adults to sleep in. Now right over here, of course, as I mentioned, is the couch. Uh, this one, they did go all leather. Again, gives it that a, a very nice look. You can see the off-colored stitching here really helps it pop. This is a jackknife style sofa. The big advantage of a jackknife, one, it's easy to make. Two, look at all the additional storage you get underneath. So huge storage there, great place for all of your bedding, um, you know, pillows, whatever. And again, this does drop down into a bed, so you have additional sleeping space there too. It's also probably the best seat in the house for the TV, which as you will notice is going to be right here. Uh, so you have the TV multimedia center right there. They are connected. This is the same multimedia center I spoke about when we were outside. It controls the speakers outside as well as the speakers inside and does have different zones. So you can uh, have them both be working together or individually. Also, it does have a radio, CD player, and a DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, pop it right in. You can watch it right here on the TV. Now the entertainment center also has great storage. You'll see the nice tinted glass up top. Uh, good storage right in there. And then down below, this opens up as well. In my opinion, perfect place for the DVD collection. All right, lastly, let's head on up into the bedroom. A couple things I love about the Passport bedroom. First and foremost is this right here. If you take a look at the bed, that is a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. So what that means for you, if you're a taller person, you're, you're gonna love this bed because your feet won't hang off and unless they hang off at the bed, your uh, bed at home. Also, if you ever need to replace the mattress, you can buy a standard queen size mattress and throw it in here. So having that residential uh, queen size bed is a big advantage. Also, if you take a look right here, Another one of my favorite parts, you have actual doors. It's not curtains they put in here, so you get that added privacy, which again, you know, when you have the kids, sometimes can be a great thing while camping. And then tucked away behind the doors right here is a cutout for a TV. So if you do want a TV in the bedroom, you can go ahead and put one right in there. Now all around the bed, we have great additional storage. You have mirrored wardrobe on both sides. You can open that up, see the hanging rod going across, shelf up top, great shelf on the bottom as well. Uh, you do have electrical outlets on both sides. So if you need to plug in cell phones or a CPAP machine, you can do that too. Uh, and then right here across the top is the tinted glass. You have additional storage going all the way across there. LED lights both right here in the center as well as underneath so you can read as well. Last but not least, uh, when I was talking about the bed, I did forget to mention this does lift up. You have great storage underneath. Um, so you know you have the residential size bed with the storage. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, this is the 2017 Keystone Passport 2670BH. This one is in the granite interior. This is a phenomenal bunkhouse. It's very well built. It's lightweight at 5,100 pounds. You have the outside kitchen. You have the big bunks, the U dinette, you know, the slide out with the uh, couch as well, big bathroom, entertainment center, real doors. This is one you have to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Um, if you are looking for particular specs on this unit, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.